What's up guys, Russ Lyman here. Welcome to today's DIY project. I got this cool little lamp at Ikea that kind of looks like a mushroom. I thought it'd be kind of cool to make it into a Mario mushroom lamp. It's called the Tokabo lamp and it was only a few dollars and it comes with the parts you see here and you do have to purchase the light bulb separately. Um, so we're gonna light it up, kind of see how it looks now and then we're gonna mask off some stuff, paint it and yeah, it's gonna turn out awesome, we hope. So I guess step one is uh, you have to screw this little thing on so you can attach the light underneath. Okay, that's good and secure, and we're gonna put our light bulb in as well. And then it just pops in underneath here. There we go. Okay, so it presses down just like that. Locks in and your cord just feeds through right there. And we'll plug it in and see how it lights up. So it comes with a little on off switch. <laughs> All right, pretty, this is a 40 watt bulb, but. <laughs> pretty bright right there which is which is great because when we paint it we're only going to have certain areas illuminating it i think we're going to finish painting this whole thing here and just kind of paint certain parts so essentially we're kind of going with something like like this here the mario mushroom kind of similar it's got a longer base but we're gonna mask off parts just like this here and that's where the light will shine through when we turn it on and to match the uh, the circles, to get a circle pattern, I'm actually going to use a top of a spray paint can. It actually fits pretty good, so we can use that as a little pattern. So I just have some uh, blues painter tape right here, and we're going to stick it on our mat, trace out the circle, and then cut them out. We'll have a little stencil. Now I'm gonna try instead of using the exacto uh, knife, it's just some scissors right here if we peel up the whole piece and then cut around it. All right, now that we have our light taped off right there, we're gonna put some primer. I just have some filler primer right here and we're just going to lay a coat on there and then after it dries we'll be able to do the two separate colors. So let's get our can and get to the paint booth. All right, here it is with the red paint on it. So we're gonna take off the tape on here and we have to paint the bottom portion. So I got this like tan looking color to kind of mimic what we got going on here for the toad itself. It's a little bit lighter, but should do the trick. Now we have to mask off the red so it doesn't get painted. Um, I'm also worried about, as you can see on here, some of the primer did peel off with the painter's tape. So putting more tape on this when I go to peel it, I'm worried it's gonna peel the red away. So let's peel off the rest of the tape right here. Looking good. Let's get our acrylic paint out. Now 
then you can use a heat gun to speed up the drying process. All right, we got the base layer down, and we're just gonna add the eye. So we're gonna use some black and then some white dots as well. All right, paint job is all set. Now we just have to reassemble the light fixture here and get the light bulb in there and turn it on. Nice, that looks great. The paint too, it kind of glows through the paint. You can see through and see his base right there. You can still see the red real well too. Sweet. And you can even see kind of where the primer lifted up over here, unfortunately. So we could go back and hit this with some spray paint to uh, further it up, but. All right, we got the uh, new paint right here on it. Looks good. I'm gonna take off the tape on here. Hopefully the red stays. I think we're gonna let it cure up a little bit and then uh, give it a wet sanding. Kind of get some of the sticky stuff off there and smooth out. I got a couple runs on the paint here. Okay, so I painted the eyes on and they look pretty good. You can leave it like that. But I know when I put the light inside of it, it's kind of gonna shine through there. And on this piece here, it has like 3D eyes. So I'm thinking we can use, this is just called fix a stick putty. It's just like plumber's putty. Very similar to my epoxy sculpt that I use. Um, you mix it together and it's like a clay and it hardens. But this hardens a lot faster. So I thought it, to give that 3D element to it, it'd be kind of cool. So we're gonna try that out.
All right, guys, well, there's the finished build of the lamp from Ikea turned into a Mario mushroom lamp. Boom, turn it on just like that. So yeah, once I had finished it and turned on the light at the end, I kind of didn't like how the light was bleeding through the bottom of the light itself. You can still see some of the imperfections. Um, even though I wet sanded it and respray painted it, you could still kind of see some of that. So I thought, what if we block the light from the base. So the idea I came up with it, I was using some construction paper um, just so it had some rigidity. And then I took a piece of fabric that was actually denim fabric that I had used for uh, some pillow that I made, a Mario pillow. But glued that on there, rolled it up so I could fit it into the light and just put it in there so it would expand and go around the circumference of the base right here, blocking the light. So then when we turned it on, you would only see the light coming out of the top of the mushroom there. And I think it looks overall a lot better. While through the project, we just, you know, wanted to keep improving it. We could have left it as B. You could have just done the spray paint and the acrylic paint and left it. But I thought it looked better with the spray paint. And then we added the clay for the eyes to give it that little bit. 3d effect and you know you're doing a project and you kind of want to keep going you do have to know when to stop though because you could just keep going with it but i think we got it to a point where i like it you turn it on and it overall looks really good you could put it on the shelf in the game room there's a lot of places i was trying it out to see where it would look good but it's definitely a great accent light i may uh, get a lesser wattage bulb so it's not as bright in the top base here if you touch it it does actually get pretty warm so we might drop it down maybe try to find like a 15 watt something very minimal so you can see the difference but overall not too bad if you guys are interested to see how i got a light made of myself i have a full video of me unboxing that it's a really great video of course there'll be plenty more diy projects coming up on the channel so i hope you guys tune back to check that out as always guys i'm russ lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Joe Sheevy, Kelly Moore, David Apuzo, Maynard, TechWizX, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Koz, Ann Oshi, Gannon Man, and all my Patreon supporters. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.